This is a follow-up quick tutorial on how to use the zoomed motion feature in Wondershare Filmora. Let's take a look at the Canary video which is already in the PIP or PIP or graphics timeline here. Let's assume we want part of that video to have a zoom so let's just move over to there move the marker to there and stop at the point we want the zoom to start right click with the mouse click split move the marker forward timeline marker needle forward say to there and that's going to be the duration of our zoom once I click split again so this middle section now with this blue frame is going to be our zoom if I right click edit and go to motion and in this case I'm going to choose zoom in 3 because that gives me the effect that I want zoom in 2 is similar but zoom in 3 is the one that I want and we'll see, you see we'll have the crosshairs the plus sign the marker there which tells us that we've selected it successfully double clicking and now let's see what the zoom actually looks like so let's play and we're starting to zoom so that's a nice zoom in there using that technique what if we just want to keep that small segment which as you can see is this split off blue bordered area and use it as a cutaway shot for another uh, from another video so let's for example take this one drag it down to the video timeline this by the way is just one technique you could actually just splice it all in you could just cut it all into the same timeline the same pip timeline not the video timeline because you can't zoom video on the video timeline you can only zoom graphics on the video timeline but on this timeline the pip or graphics timeline you can zoom graphics images jpegs or video so let's um, do this by firstly deleting the parts of the canary video we don't want which are either side of this part that we do want so let's just delete that there and delete that there and let's move the marker to the part of the video say it's uh, over there that we want to cut away from and just move uh, our canary shot to that point so this is what will actually be the final rendered video if we were to render or create a movie from this point one final thing is that you might not want the sound from both sources so you can mute the track that you don't want of course to isolate the precise segment where you want sound to be removed just split it in the usual way and click mute or you can manually adjust the volume as shown here to the sound level that's suitable for the particular scene that you're editing and that's it really if I've failed to explain something clearly or if you have any comments um, please do let me know of course use the comment section below and I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and see you again soon